Hi everyone, my name is Christina. I'm with Slut Shop Hat Yoga Studio in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. And today I have a really awesome wake up and connect yoga class planned for you. We're just gonna take 30 minutes here to start our day with a boost of energy. It'll be a nice gentle flow, so we're not gonna push it too hard, but really just explore some movement in our bodies today and get our day started with the positive. So with that, let's get started. I'll meet you on your mats. Today, we're gonna get started in a child's pose. So you can come towards the back of your mat. I like to have my knees about hip width distance apart or as wide as the mat. And then arms are extending nice and long in front of us. Trying to stretch out the back here in the shoulders. Maybe bring your forehead to the mat and try to keep your glutes on your heels here. Start taking some deep inhales and exhales. Breathing through your nose. And we'll take one deep inhale together and exhale. We're going to come into puppy pose. So here you can bring your knees a little bit closer together. And then we're actually going to stand up on our knees, extend your arms nice and long in front of you. So now we're opening up the front of the shoulders. Your hips are in the sky here. And again, maybe you rest your forehead on your mat. Continue with your inhales and exhales. Trying to slow down your breathing. And take one last breath. And when you come up, we're going to come into a cross-legged position. So crisscross applesauce. And then we're going to do a little side body stretch. So place your left hand on your left side on the ground here. And your right arm is just going to come up overhead. Try to open up your chest so we're not collapsing that right shoulder. Nice and open. Maybe your gaze is in front of you or towards the sky. We're taking nice deep inhales and exhales. And we'll switch sides. So now right hand comes to our right side and the left arm is gonna come overhead, opening up through the chest here. So your shoulder should be in line with your torso, no hunching over, but opening up to the front. On your next exhale, you can release and bring your hands to your knees. And we're gonna do just a few rounds of seated cat and cow. So on our cows, we're exhaling and bringing our chest forward. And cat, we're rounding our back, kind of pulling back on your knees. So exhale, coming into cow, pull your chest forward and maybe gaze up towards the ceiling. And inhale, round your back into cat. Feel free to go at your own pace here. Just exploring some movement in the back of the body, stretching up the spine a little bit. Do one more round, inhale to cat, round back, and exhale to cow, pulling your chest forward. From here, we'll come to hero pose. So we're gonna sit down on our calves, your glutes are on your heels, and we can bring our arms nice and tall overhead. And on your next exhale, drop your right arm 
So let your right hand is touching your back here. I'll show you guys from the back. And then your left hand is gonna come to your right elbow, just helping the shoulder stretch here. If your shoulders are a little tight, maybe a nice alternative to this is just grabbing opposite elbows overhead. And we can release our arms back up to the sky. And now our left hand is coming down, giving us a pat on the back. And right hand can come to that left elbow. Try to stand up nice and straight here. So chest is open again. And we can release. We'll come into a standing position and your feet can be about hip width distance apart here. Interlace your hands behind your back. And we're just going to gently drop our hands below our glutes, which is going to help open up our chest. So just a really tiny back bend here. Maybe looking up at the sky. Making sure that we're breathing through the poses here. And on our next exhale, we're going to come into a forward fold. So we're bringing the crown of our head facing the mat and maybe take a slight bend in the knees here and relaxing our arms overhead so letting them kind of drift towards the mat overhead here as we're inhaling and exhaling. Try to keep those nice deep breaths. Maybe try counting to four on your inhales and exhales. And we can release our hands to the mat. Try to create a nice flat back here. Maybe bring your hands to your shins. We're going to just step a little bit closer together here. So maybe about two inches in between our big toes. Grab opposite elbows. And again, we're going to come into a forward fold. Legs can be bent here. We're in a rag doll. So maybe explore some movements. Just gently swaying side to side. It's really seeing some tension from the back here. Maybe getting a little bit of a hamstring stretch. And when we release, we can come to a halfway lift with our nice flat back. Hands can be on your shins here. And then gently rise all the way up to mountain pose. And then we're going to step our feet together so big toes are touching, maybe about an inch in between the back heels. When you inhale, bring your arms overhead. Bring your palms together, interlacing all 10 fingers. Release your index fingers, kind of like a Charlie's Angels hands here. And then very gently, we're just going to move side to side. And again, maybe coordinate your breath to the movement here. So maybe inhale, come up to the center. Exhale, coming down to the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, down to the side. So these are nice and slow. Just bringing some movement to our spines here. Again, we're trying to keep the chest nice and open so we're not collapsing the shoulders forward. But think about pushing the hips forward and keeping the shoulders in line with each other. From here, we can release our hands down to the side and we'll do just some arm circles here. 
So again, coordinating to your breath. I'll do one out at a time. So I inhale one round and exhale the next round. So nice and slow here. Inhale and exhale. And then we'll reverse that. So again, inhale one circle. Exhale through the next circle. Inhale, circle. And one last exhale. We'll repeat that on our left side as well. So again, inhale, nice big circle. And exhale, same thing. Again, feel free to go at your own pace here with your own breath. And then let's reverse that. Inhaling one round, exhaling the next. Let's do one more. All right, great. We'll come to the top of our mat in mountain pose here. So standing up nice and tall, pushing our hips forward, palms facing forward as well. And on our inhale, we'll bring our hands overhead. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift with a nice flat back. And on our exhale, we're gonna move into plank position. We'll just take one breath here in our plank. And then we're gonna push our hips back into downward facing dog. In our first down dog of the day, maybe walk your dog, pedal up the feet a little bit. Maybe move your hips a little bit side to side. Just stretching out the lower body here. And when you're ready, find some stillness in your downward facing dog. We want to be hinging at our hips here, trying to keep a nice flat back. Heels do not have to be touching the mat. And maybe a slight bend in the knees. Let's take three nice deep breaths here. And on your next inhale, raise your right leg nice and high to the sky and bring it between your hands. So your hands are framing that foot. Your left foot is pointing at about 10 o'clock. We're gonna come into warrior one. So on warrior one, we want our hips square with each other. They're both kind of facing the front of the mat here. We're not opening up to the side. And you can bring your gaze over your right fingertips. Let's bring our hands behind our back, interlace all 10 fingers, and just a really slight back bend here. So you're drawing those hands down, opening up through the shoulders, and your hands are kind of drawing past your glutes here. And on the next inhale, we're gonna come into Humble Warrior. So our torso is coming parallel to the ground, inside of that right leg, and arms are nice and high above us, still with our fingers interlaced here. Try not to rest your body on your thigh, but place your torso on the inside of your leg. And we can come back up, release your hands. And we're gonna gently lower that left leg and knee down to the mat for a low lunge. On your next inhale, bring your arms overhead. Let's take a few breaths here. And your left hand can come down to the mat inside of that right foot. Your right arm is gonna come overhead. It's a little low lunge twist for us today. So again, we're trying to open up through the chest. Try to push the ground away from you with your left hand. 
and maybe try shifting your gaze to your right fingertips. And when you're ready, both hands can come down to the mat. Kind of toe heel that right foot out to the side of our mat. And if this feels good for you, definitely stay here. Or if you have a little bit more space, you can try coming to your forearms for a lizard. So you should be feeling a really good stretch in the back of that right leg maybe in your left hip flexor, so the front of that left hip. If you're on your forearms, you can come back to your hands. And then we're going to toe heel that right foot all the way to the left side of our mat. Drop the knee down and come into pigeon. So our left leg is still nice and long behind us. You want that left leg nice and straight. And feel free to stay here, or maybe once again, try coming down to your forearms. Maybe use your forearms as a little pillow. And take some nice deep breaths here. And we'll come back to our hands if you're on your forearms. We're gonna Bring that right leg in front of us. It's kind of a little awkward transition here, but we're bringing our right leg back to a 90 degree angle. Left leg is still nice and long behind us. And then just pull the hips back into a runner's lunge here. From here, we're gonna move back to the right leg being bent at 90 degrees. Come to the tippy toes of your left foot. Kind of coming back into a warrior one here. So our hips are forward, nice and square. And then let's straighten out that right leg. Arms are gonna come up and down. So right hand is on the mat. And we're coming into triangle here. On your next inhale, you can come back into that warrior one. And then our left foot is going to come nice and wide. Mine is off of the mat, so a nice wide stance here at the top of your mat. Toes are going to point outwards at about 45 degrees. And we'll come down into a yogi squat or malasana. I'm going to show you guys from this side because you'll see my legs are nice and wide. Feet are pointed at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm using my elbows to kind of help push my knees apart here, opening up my hips. Maybe move side to side, explore some movement here. And when you're ready, you can place your hands at the top of your mat. Just going to step back into our plank position. And then pull your chest forward into upward facing dog. In our upward facing dog, try to bring those thighs off of the mat. Arms are nice and straight. And then as we exhale, we'll push our hips back into downward facing dog. We'll take a few breaths here. And then on our next inhale, let's lift that left leg to the sky nice and high. And then bring it between your hands at the top of your mat. We're coming into warrior one on our left side. So your right leg is behind us now nice and straight. Toes are at about a 45 degree angle. Interlace your hands behind your back. And very slowly, we'll bring our torso parallel to the ground inside of that left leg. 
Arms are still nice and high above you. And we'll come back up. We're gonna gently pull our hands down, opening up our chest here. So hands are kind of drawing down past the glutes. I'm resting my hands on the back of my right leg and just opening up a bit here. And we can release. Hands are coming to the mat. Right knee is also coming down to the mat. We're in our low lunge here. Bring the arms overhead. Take a couple deep breaths here. And then right hand can come down to the mat. And then our left hand is coming nice and high to the sky. Again, try to push the ground away with the right hand here. And we'll bring that left hand down to the mat. Toe heel, that left foot to the left side of your mat. We're coming into lizard pose. So again, feel free to stay on your hands here. Or maybe try lowering down to your forearms. We're continuing with our nice deep breathing. And if you're on your forearms, let's come back to our hands. We're gonna toe heel that foot all the way to the right side of our mat now. Drop that knee down and we're coming into pigeon. So our right leg is nice and long behind us. Feel free to stay on your hands here. Maybe come to your forearms or maybe bring your forehead to the top of your arms here. And we'll come back up. Your right foot is going to come in between your hands and or I'm sorry, your left foot is between your hands, your right leg and foot is still behind you. And then we're pulling our hips back into runner's lunge. So now we're gonna come back up into our warrior one. So that left knee is bent at 90 degrees. Straighten out that left leg. We're gonna tick tock our arms here, coming into triangle. So left hand is on the mat. Right arm is reaching up nice and high to the sky here. Maybe try gazing at your right fingertips. And when you're ready, we're gonna step all the way forward, take a nice wide stance at the top of your mat, and we're coming into Malasana. So feet are pointed outwards at about 45 degrees. We're trying to open up the hips here. And we can bring our hands back down to the mat. Start with sending your right leg behind you and then your left leg. So we're in our plank. And then we're gonna open up our chest to the front of our mats for our upward facing dog. And then push the hips back into downward facing dog. And we're going to pull our bodies forward into plank. We're going to come into low plank, so bend your elbows behind you. And you can release all the way to the ground here. So bellies are on the mat. 
You can bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. You're gonna do just a baby cobra. So on your next inhale, gently peel your chest off of your mat, your shoulders, you're pulling them together and elbows should be facing your toes here. From here, let's pull all the way forward. So you're gonna lifting your chest up all the way back into our upward facing dog. Try shifting your gaze to the ceiling here, getting a little bit of stretch in your back. And you can release all the way down to the mat. Now we'll bring our hands behind us. Palms are on the mat. Chin is on the mat. Zipper your legs together so your feet are touching behind you. Thighs are glued together. And then on our next inhale, we're gonna come into locust, lifting our hands and legs off of the mat. So locust, you don't have to be aggressive with this pose at all, just lifting up even an inch or two. Try not to strain your back here, it should be a gentle pose. And we can release down to our mats. We're going to kick our feet up, so knees are bent at about 90 degrees, and then grab a hold of your feet on the outside of your feet. We're gonna come into bow pose. So on your next inhale, you're going to again lift your chest off of the mat. You're kicking your feet up, trying to open up your shoulders. And maybe try gazing up to the sky here. So we're opening up the chest, trying to kick those feet up, helping to open up our shoulders. And we can release. From here, we're gonna come into a kneeling position. So just push back. Our knees can be about hip width distance apart and we're gonna come into camel. So I start with putting my hands on my back, like I'm gonna put my hands into some blue jean pockets. So we'll start here. This is a great place to stay if you would like, where you can try pushing your hips forward a bit. You're just pushing your hips forward. And then if you'd like to go for a little bit further, you can gently release your hands to your heels, coming into full camel. Once you're here, keep pushing those hips forward and let your neck relax. We're still breathing here. And we can bring our hands back to our hips. Push back to hips being neutral. And we can sit down on our glutes. We're actually gonna shift to laying down on our backs here. So maybe adjust your position on your mat. Just coming into a laying position. And we'll come into happy baby. So legs are coming up to meet the chest. And then we're, I always put my hands on the inside of my knees and then grab the outside of my feet. So we're trying to pull our thighs down to our chest. Maybe rock gently side to side here. Staying in the middle works just as well. And we'll release both legs nice and long in front of us. I have a long body, I have to scoot back here. <laughs> We'll bring our right knee into our chest, keeping our left leg nice and long. Then that right knee, we're gonna do a twist here. So that right knee is coming across our body and down to our left side. Don't worry about your knee fully touching the ground. What we wanna make sure is that our shoulders are both on the mat here. 
Start taking a few breaths. Maybe open up your arms nice and long to both sides. You can try gazing over that right shoulder. And we'll release to the middle. Bring that left knee into your chest. Give it a nice big squeeze. And then that left knee is coming over our body and down to the right side. So again, it's okay if your knee isn't touching the ground. We just wanna have those shoulders nice and firm to our mats. You can shift your gaze over your left shoulder. And take one more nice deep breath here. We'll come back to neutral. Take a big full body stretch. So arms are nice and long overhead. And when you've got your little stretch in there, you can come into Savasana. So feet kind of splay open here, relaxed. Palms facing the sky. Taking some nice deep breaths. And with your eyes still closed, you can gently roll to your right side. So just like you're gonna be big spoon or little spoon, just laying on your side here. Maybe using your right arm as a pillow for your head. And again, with your eyes still closed, you can gently push your body up into a seated position. You can go for either crisscross applesauce or hero pose. And on your next inhale, bring your arms nice and high overhead. Bring those palms together. Your hands can come down to your heart and namaste. All right, thank you everyone so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our class. It was pretty chill. Uh, hopefully a good way to get some movement in this morning before we get our day started without pushing ourselves too hard. So hopefully you're feeling good. I am. We'll see you next time. Bye.